And welcome to Bomber Stadium. We're here for our second annual question and answer video. We wanted to thank you, thank you guys for commenting on our last Instagram post as well as all things Bomber Split Soul League on our on our videos and everything else. We couldn't do it without you guys. We combed through a lot of questions um, on those different platforms, and we got a lot of things that, that we think we can put together a good uh, a good video for you guys. If you like this video, make sure you smash that like button, comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more more Bomber Splits Bowl League videos, and hit the bell to get all all your notifications on all things Bomber Splits Bowl League with our games, question and answer videos, and the playoffs are coming up soon, so make sure you look forward to that. All right, guys. So right now we're actually going to be picking the winner of the signed bat giveaway. We're going to go into one of the Blitz Ball videos we have. We're going to find one of the comments in one of the videos and that person's gonna be the winner the winner of the bat giveaway is going to be the hundred blitzball league congratulations congratulations um, make sure if you're watching this video um, to send your Instagram or Twitter so we can contact you and get that bat to you, to you as soon as possible thanks guys so the first question is which MLB player would we like to play with the most and this was asked by Kellen Ness and Avery Peterson Mike if you want to go ahead I think uh, the obvious answer for me has got to be Didi Gregorius, favorite player. He's been seen playing with blitz balls before. We're still holding out hope that we're going to be able to meet him someday. So we love you, Didi, and uh, that, that's my answer. Mike, I'm, I'm with you on the same thing. We've seen Didi play blitz ball multiple times, and we, we've been waiting for him. We thought maybe he had a chance of being at the Blitzball World Series. Maybe we could see him there. Um, but hopefully we see him next year. Didi Gregorius is the most common answer probably in the Bombers Blitzball League. We're all huge Yankee fans, as you know. It's in the name, Bombers, Blitz Bowl League, the Bronx Bombers. So uh, we're going to have to go with D.D. Gregorius. Our second question when asked by Josh Martin is, when was the Bombers Blitz Bowl League established? And Mike, I can speak for this. We actually started playing in early 2013. That's when we actually started playing Blitz Bowl. And uh, we actually did a tournament late October around my birthday. I'm not sure who won, but that's when we, we all got together for the, like, the first time and actually played Blitz Bowl. But the league itself actually didn't become... The Bombers Blitz Bowl League until early of 2014 and around April, I think it was. Here's actually a clip from the first ever Bombers Blitz Bowl League game. We have uh, two questions actually by Como Blitz Bowl League. Uh, we love you guys. You guys are doing great things. Yeah, you're the homies. Make, make sure you check them out. Um, first question is how long to edit the video? I would say each game video takes roughly five hours to edit themselves. The reason that it takes five hours is just because my laptop's slow. Honestly, I think if I had a better laptop, crank out videos in two to three hours, but five hours is roughly how long it takes uh, myself to make the videos. I edit the videos. So the second question by Como is how long do we hope to be on YouTube? I gotta say, probably as long as we can as we can go. I mean, obviously, some of us some of us are in school and we're uh, we're moving um, moving to, to different things in our lives. But hopefully, we'll be able to keep playing for for years to come. Maybe not in the same capacity, but we'll see how it goes. CBL Wiffleball asks Mike for MVP. The Bombers Wiffleball League really doesn't have an MVP. We just really have a champion straight up. Mike is 100% a contender. Um, he's won the past two years. Mike is definitely one of those people who could definitely win the World Series again. And uh, we'll see if he comes out on top. Next question by Ray Looney um, is, how's the season going? And season's going great. Season, we're, yeah, it's going great. We're about 80% done. I think we have much more, many more games this year than we've ever done before. A lot of new uh, participants. I think we have four rookies in the season. Yes, we do. Um, and, they're, and they're all doing really well. Um, and uh, I think we got lots of videos, lots of good pitches. We're looking forward to putting together, mm -hmm. um, putting together that video, the contest video later this year. Um, and we just got to thank you guys for, for always uh, keeping up with all things Bombers Blitz Bowl League. And uh, we're looking forward to putting more videos out there for you guys. The next question by Karchich03. Sorry for pronouncing that wrong. Who are the front runners for the Rookie of the Year? So we're actually having an American League and a National League Rookie of the Year. The contestants, honestly, I don't know which contestants were in the National League and the American League, but I know it's the four rookies are obviously John, Megley, Gavin, and TC. And there's going to be two Rookie of the Year winners because there's two separate leagues in the Bombers of the League. Front runners right now are Megley and John without giving away any record. Okay, guys, so the next question by Conman underscore vids is how many blitz balls do we have? We actually started this season with a total of 85 blitz balls. Now, honestly, we were giving away two, so you cut down two right there. We got 83. 
but we've lost and broke a lot of blitz balls. So I'd say we're around 50 right now. I think 85 is the most we've ever had in that mark, our highest number at the beginning of the season. But we're around 50 right now. I think that's a good estimate. We can tell we're not at 85 anymore just because I've thrown out at least 10 balls from breaking, um, running over them in the mower and stuff like that. But yeah, around 50 balls we have right now. We started with 85. Our next question um, asked by KTB underscore 11 is who has the most home runs in a season? And we just got to stay tuned for that because the record has already been broken this year. We're not going to give it away yet, but we'll make sure we'll let you guys know at the end of the season. Ethan Mask asks, what got you into Blitzball? Now, I think it was the first Blitzball League I ever saw was VP Blitzball League on YouTube. I think that's what got me thinking like, yo, this is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. This thing moves a lot. I think those are the first guys I ever saw on YouTube. Um, they're probably the literally, they're probably the first Blitzball League ever. But um, those guys probably got me into Blitzball, which got Mike and uh, more of my friends, including Marco, John, and all those other guys into Blitzball. Next question by Steven Volk and Hollow Blitzball League. Um, is who are your picks to win the chip this season other than yourself? This guy. <laughs> it's funny he says me because I'm going to pick Mike and uh, <laughs> I think that would make a great World Series. The rivalry would be a great World Series for Blitzball and the fans and I hope it could happen this year. Okay guys, so Cameron Knuckles asks, what's the hardest pitch to hit? Now, up there with the hardest pitches to hit are Mike's riser, Zach's curveball, and Chandler's knuckle drop. They each move in completely different directions completely different pitches. Honestly, don't know which one is the hardest to hit. I've seen Mike's riser more, so I think Chandler's knuckleball, knuckle drop is harder to hit just because I haven't seen it enough, but that's my personal opinion. Mike, what do you think? Um, I, I, I would second exactly what Nick said, and um, just if you want to see what Nick's talking about with um, with being able to see the riser more often, just just take a look at this clip. Oh. And Barnes hit from high! GSC Blissball asks what our farthest homer is. Now, I think all time our farthest homer is by Antonio, but I don't have an exact measurement on the feet. But our, the farthest homer this year was by John Doherty at 225 feet against Josh. Next question by El Texiano is, what is the farthest opposite field home run hit? Now, we don't know for sure, but just, just take a look at this clip. Uh, I can speak from experience here. <laughs> Okay, the next question by Swisher Blitzball League is, do the Bombers Blitzball League have MLB The Show ratings? It's a good question. It's a great question, and I think it's it's going to be really hard to rate each player in the Bombers Blitzball League and give them an overall rating and score. But I think we should start with the rookie, John Doherty. Let's start with his, his contact. I personally would give John's contact around... I would say a 75. I think power, um, John's been showing a lot of power. He, he uh, did really well in the home run derby. I'd give him about an 85 to a 90 there. And uh, his, his control is actually pretty good on the mound. I'm gonna give that to him. He's only got one pitch though. It's the same motion. I think that's why his control is a lot better than most of the rookies. I'll give his control an 82. In terms of velocity, we don't know for sure, but we think that John will probably be throwing around 85 to, or 84 to 85. And I think a good overall rating for John in his rookie season is about an 82. I think that's a good, good score a good overall score for John Doherty playing the way he is and he's definitely got time for improvement I think he'll improve next year now I'm actually going to rate Mike on all of his um, abilities so in terms of velocity I'm going to give Mike an 85 Mike can sometimes throw it very hard and 85 with a blitz ball is hard because it moves so much so I'm going to give Mike 85 on the velocity um, for his contact I'm going to give Mike in 85. I'm going to give Mike an 85, but he did pretty good in the Blitzball World Series. He had a pretty good uh, batting average. That's why I'm going to give Mike an 85. Um, on, the, on the power side, I'm going to give Mike, I'm also going to give Mike an 85. He sent some bombs this year. Um, he also won the home run derby. So that's why I would give Mike an 85 on the power. On the accuracy, he's up there at 93 probably. Mike, Mike throws strikes and that's what he does. That's why he gets people out. That's why he strikes so many people out. And I'm gonna give Mike a 93 on the accuracy. So I would give Mike an overall of 95 because he's won the World Series two years in a row. And I think Mike's a very good player in the Bombers Whistle League. He's literally proved himself winning two World Series in a row. So that's why I'm gonna give Mike a 95 overall. And I'll do Nick uh, while we're here. Um, in terms of power, 
Nick, Nick's got the most power in the league as far as I'm concerned. I would give him a 95 um, for power. Contact, same thing. Uh, you've seen the videos. Take a look at these clips. High drive! Deep and gone! As you can see from those clips, Nick can hit absolutely anything. So you, you have to make sure that, that you never throw it in the same spot twice and never up and away because he can jump and hit the ball for a home run. So in contact, I would give him about a solid 100 on that one. He can hit anything. <laughs> Um, for velocity, I think we clocked Nick a couple years ago with the crow hop. He got it up to about 93, if I remember correctly. 94, actually. 94. Um, but while we're playing normally, I would say Nick is throwing. He throws throws gas uh, about 87. Control. Um, Nick Nick uh, can really uh, paint the corners as well. Every now and then he, he gets into a little bit a little bit of trouble throwing strikes. But once he uh, once he finds uh, finds his spot, he's very hard to hit and he hits those corners. Um, I think I think Nick's control is probably. Probably about an 80. I would put it at an 80. Uh, I think I think he doesn't give himself enough credit. I think he does throw uh, does throw a good amount of strikes, but every now and then getting a little erratic. But hey, that's blitz ball. Yep. Um, um, overall, I would give give Nick a a, nine, a 95 as well. Um, he's he's uh, the founder of the league. He's been around forever. Um, he's you know it's the rivalry. We 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 always love playing each other, and it's uh, it's he's he's just good. Stay tuned for the ga those games. The rivalry is coming soon. Mike and I already played each other. It was a great series. Stay tuned for that. But guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that like button right now. Let's try and get 25 likes on this video. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification as well, and we'll see you later.